Bro, brief. I hope everybody's having a great day. My day is a okay. Uh, feeling disengaged, stagnant, or bored. It might be time to move on. You know, everybody hits that brick wall at some point in time where things have gotten a little stale. You know, and it's like, you know, people hang on to things way too long. People hang on to nouns. People place and things. All right too long at sometimes uh sometimes you have to do an assessment like am i progressing in life is this really what i want is this adding to my life or is it taken away from my life that's the biggest thing if things are taken away from your life then you probably should eliminate them all right it's it's a simple uh assessment test you have to do an assessment test in all aspects of your life. At some point in time, dude, you grow too big for your britches. You know what I'm saying? What do you do? You get new britches. Shoes, hats, shirts, people, etc. Everybody isn't meant to be in every phase of your life. You know, sometimes people are only in your life for seasons. Same thing with jobs. Same thing with churches same thing with wardrobes whatever it may be i'm the type of person where i don't really hold on to material possessions i haven't really held on to material possessions throughout my life because the life that i've lived i've had to get up and go leave everything ship things places uh say forget it you know what i'm saying uh i lose things you know things are things they can always be replaced all right uh, people can be replaced too. And, you know, some people feel different about that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that that person can be replaced, but that person's position in your life can be replaced. If that person is not adding up in your life, if that person is being negative in your life, you know, some people are just hanging on people that shouldn't be hung up, shouldn't be hanging on. You know, I have a saying that too much dead weight or make your knees break, all right? That means too many people holding on to you that aren't pulling their weight is going to end up causing you to fall. And at that point in time, it's too late because if they're holding on to you, they can't pick you up. Uh, eliminate distractions, all right? Like, you know, nowadays, like, technology has advanced so fast you know what I'm saying, to, that we have a lot more distractions in life, you know, the cell phone is one of the biggest distractions, learn to put your cell phone down, learn to put it on silent, put it on do not disturb, leave it in your car, there's certain things to do, if you're one of those people that doesn't have any power over your phone, then realize that, all right, and start being smarter than your, your addiction, all right, because anything can be an addiction, answering your phone can be an addiction, all right, believe it or not, playing on your phone can be an addiction, all right, uh, at one point in time, people thought I was addicted to, to Instagram, or being on it, I'm like, no, it was like, I, re I, I really don't like being on that type of stuff, you know what I'm saying, I never even wanted to be, just the truth be told, I was, I was late to Instagram, People was on Instagram forever. And I was like, dude, why? Why do I need to be on Instagram? You know what I'm saying? So I didn't get on Instagram. I don't know until probably about five years ago. All right? And Instagram has been around, I don't know how long, but I know it's been around a lot longer than five years. But uh, with that being said, it's not a distraction to me. You know, I don't even have regular service. I use Wi-Fi. You know what I'm saying? So how could it be a distraction to me out and about? You know? But eliminate distractions. All right? It's only going to make whatever you're dealing with better. You have to focus in life. You know? If your kids are a distraction, put them in their place. Like, dude, you're distracting me. You're a significant other. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You have to set boundaries in your life in order to progress to where you want to be. Feedback with impact all right 
anybody can just give feedback. But think about your feedback. Is your feedback helping the situation? If it's not helping the situation, keep your feedback. All right. That is, if you're in a position to uh, build. All right. Now, if you're in the in the business of giving negative feedback versus you know meaning surveys, you know whatever it may be, that's your job to give feedback and be as honest as possible. But if you're giving feedback and you're trying to build something, then give positive feedback. You know, what I'm saying positive reinforcement. You know. That's not saying lie to the person that you're giving feedback to. Just find a way to maneuver your words that it's not tearing that person down or uh, destroying the progress that you're trying to achieve. Uh, setting, Which brings you up to the next thing, setting your team up for success. Setting your team up for success is huge. There's a lot of leaders out there, team leaders, captains, uh, whatever, that they care more about shining and being the one that's being seen, being the one that's patted on their back more than setting their team up for success. All right. If you, if you build leaders, then in your absence, the ship will stay afloat. You know, uh, they won't be calling you all the time for directions because you set your team up for success. You know, give them the tools that they need to succeed in return everybody will succeed and it'll look it'll make you look like a better leader all the successful leaders in the world coaches teachers whatever it may be that set their people up for success they elevate in life you know only the ones who keep their their uh people you know at a level to where they can't shine are the ones who never progress uh, doing the most, man. All right. If you're going to do the most, do the most good. All right. I mean, there's a saying like they doing the most, you know, meaning they're doing too much, you know what I'm saying? And, but doing the most in a positive way, is never a bad look. All right. I was at Wendy's the other day. Okay. And I don't know this young man, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know his life. I don't know what he had going on. I just know. He was up in Wendy's with an assault rifle in his in his shorts. Okay. And to me, that's doing the most in a negative way. You know what I'm saying? Most people you know, are going to feel uncomfortable if you're in a setting where something like that, you know, is in, in plain view. Most people are going to feel uncomfortable about that. They're going to be like, dude, what is that? What, he Does he have a machine gun? That's doing the most. That's doing too much. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion. Now, whatever he had going on, maybe he was on a TV show or something. I have no idea. You know what I'm saying? But one thing that I do know is usually the mass shootings, you know what I'm saying, or scenarios like that, you usually have somebody with a, that looks a certain way, you know what I'm saying? This guy didn't look the way that most people should would be nervous about. And that's a joke, you know what I'm saying? Because in reality, anybody stepping in anywhere with a machine weapon that, like Wendy's, everybody's going to be wondering about it, or at least talking about it. Either way, if you're doing the most, man, do the most good. Bro, brief, have a great day.